Greek Fest is a 23-year staple at Sioux City's Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church. A drive-up event created during the pandemic returns this weekend, meaning that there's a lot of food to be prepared. KCAU 9 News reporter Jason Taktagian is live in downtown Sioux City and got a sweet assignment today, pun intended. He learns what goes into preparing the festival's most popular pastry. It's our top story at 6. Jason? That's right, Tim and Sophie. I'm outside the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church, and right here is where the baklava is prepared. Now, you can also see that the parking lot that I'm standing in, it's pretty empty, right? That won't be the case come this weekend. They come for baklava. They hear baklava. They're at the front door. Just below the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church is the sweet smell of baklava. Volunteers have spent all week preparing the popular pastry for this weekend's Eurofest drive through 15 for the weekend, and we have extra in case we run out. <laughs> There's 96 pieces per sheet. That totals out to 1,440 pieces of sweet, sticky goodness. We got butter, lots of butter. We have the phyllo dough. We have the nuts. We have sugar, cinnamon in the mixture with breadcrumbs. Then we just start layering. We put a full pound of phyllo on the bottom. And then in the middle part, we start layering the nuts and the phyllo, the nuts, the phyllo, the nuts. And we put two pounds of phyllo in that, in the center part. And then of course the top has a full pound. It takes a day with a lot of people to prepare it, to, to have it ready. Then we freeze it. And now we take them out and we back it. When the baklava is finished baking, it's then time for the syrup. Sugar, water, the lemon rind, orange rind, and cinnamon sticks, cloves, and then at the very end, after the boiling finishes up, they put honey. lots of honey. Once the syrup and baklava combine, then it's time to let it rest. And the upcoming drive through is just a taste of what's to come during this summer's Greek fest. Now it was 15 pence of baklava for this occasion, but for the festival, oh, yeah. it would be 50, 40, 60. Yeah. <laughs> and all that hard work pays off when they see faces of folks enjoying their food. It makes our work effortless when you see people enjoying what you make. Well, all that's left is to let that baklava rest, and then tomorrow those volunteers will pack it up for the weekend. But for now, reporting live in downtown Sioux City, Jason Taktagian, KCAU 9 News.